Hi, my name is Leilani Melendez, and today I'm going to compare and contrast Apologia with Masterbooks. Both are very popular curriculums. They both come from a biblical creation, worldview, young earth creation perspective. Very, very popular among the Christian community, and it's really hard to decide which way to go. So for a little bit of context before I get started, I am a former public and private school teacher. When I resigned over 10 years ago to teach my kids, I also also took on a position at a local co-op where I have been teaching all of their elementary school sciences and middle school sciences, most of their middle school sciences. I've been doing it for over 10 years. I've done most of the Apologia curriculum and a lot of the Master Books curriculum. I've done some other stuff here and there, but I do keep going back to both Master Books and Apologia. I do have one though that I prefer over the other one. I'm gonna share that with you at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. Both are really good, which I both are good. So let me go ahead and get started. We've already established that both of them do teach young earth creation, biblical worldview perspective. Both of them have reading. They encourage reading and they encourage answering questions. And both of them have science experiments. Now I will say Apologia does have some more science experiments just to fill you in on Master Books. Master Books is a curriculum company and they will just they will publish books by different authors. They are in connection with Ken Ham. Now, if you're not familiar with Ken Ham, by the way, that's the publishing company that he uses and huge, wonderful relationship with. I don't know the details of the relationship, but I do know that anything that Ken Ham publishes, he publishes it through Master Books, whether it's curriculum or books. All of his creation scientists that work at the Ark and the Creation Museum will publish their Master Books. And a lot of it is really, really good, solid, wonderful curriculum, which I'll talk a little bit more in detail later. If you're not familiar with Ken Ham, like I said, he is the one, the founder of the Ark Museum and the Creation Museum up in Kentucky, which is amazing and so much fun. And you should go visit it if you haven't yet. Give me a thumbs up if you've gone or even want to go and tell me about your experiment, experience, experiment. Maybe they do experiments there. I'm sure they do because they have classes. If you've done an experiment there, give me a thumbs up and tell me about it in the comments. Now, Apologia has just one big series exploring creation. And their main author is going to be Jenny Fulbright. So the middle school one is actually written by Sherry Seligan, which I actually got to meet and talk to her a little bit about the new curriculum that just came out. I mean, it's not, it's a, it's the fourth edition and it's actually really good. And let me know if you want me to make a video about this because I'm teaching from this book this year and it's, it's the new one. Okay. So total side note, let's get back to comparing Apology and Masterbook. So there's a little bit about how they kind of function. Let's look at master books specifically. So when you go to their website and you're looking up science, the first series that comes up is Let's Talk Science. So it's pretty much going to be all the different disciplines in science wrapped up in K through fourth grade. So it's going to be five years. The next series that you're going to run into is God's Design. That one's really cool too because you're going to have the first and second grade is going to have life science and then heaven and earth. And then for third through eighth grade, you've got heaven and earth and life science again, but it's more advanced. And then you're going to have physical science and then chemistry. And each of those is divided up into three sections. Now, what's really nice about the Master Books God's Design series is that you can actually download it digitally and print it out, which is what I did. And I'm going to show you. So this is my chemistry and ecology. So the first section is going to be property of matters. The second section is properties of ecosystems, and that one has eight units. Properties of atoms and molecules is going to have seven units. So now each of, of course, it's going to start off with introduction to science and the tools that you use. Each of the chapters or lessons are very, very similar. Similar. All right, so I'll show you this one. This one is going to be lesson 13, and it is on liquids. And it says, can you pour it? So there's like a nice little paragraph that you will read, um, pictures, obviously. And then a, what did we learn? Taking it uh, further and observing. So then you do those with your kids. Now the green is going to be for the upper level kids. So it's going to be like your middle schoolers. And then this one actually is a science experiment that they will perform 
you know, the purpose, materials, procedures, question, conclusion, everything's right there. The materials is just a simple cup of water, and that's basically it. All of them look like that, pretty much. You know, I'm actually looking at this lesson here on gases. This one has a little bit of a reading, but then the younger kids are going to have the experiment, and then what do we learn taking it further? But then this one also has another section with another experiment for the older kids. So if that gives you a little bit of an idea of how these lessons flow. So this book in particular has 105 lessons total. So it's 105 days, which means you don't necessarily have to do all of them and you can kind of plan it out yourself. And it's very unlike other master books curriculum where it doesn't really give you a detailed look at how you should run. Let me show you. This right here is going to be the master books curriculum for applied engineering, which I do have a video where I do a flip through on this one and I show you all the things. Uh, but that's right up there, you <laughs> can check it out. But this is the actual workbook and this is three of the four, three of the four books that you use to supplement the workbooks. And they are, it's very Charlotte Mason-esque where you read the books and then you answer the questions and there might be an experiment. So what's different about this book than the God's Design series is that this book, well, first of all, this is seventh and ninth grade. They do have similar setups for the elementary master books cur curriculum. They have an anatomy one. They have a soil, sea, and sky. They have a paleontology book, which I have gone through. That one is very, very self paced with a lot of crafts. It feels more crafty than experimenty. But, um, and that one seems to be for younger kids in elementary school. I would say like maybe second, third grade, maybe fourth grade-ish. So, but it is a really good book. It's very, very thorough and it comes with some dinosaur books. And this is applied engineering for middle school. Elements of Faith is going to be more like God's design. And I don't know much about the geology one, but it looks to be like this. And so does the astronomy book. So applied engineering. When you look inside, and this is also kind of like the teacher's manuals because um, the answers are in the back of the book. Hopefully your kids didn't hear that, but they're back here. But if you go to the very front of this book, of course, they're going to talk about, you know, the course description. They do have a research paper that's attached to it. But this is very detailed on the days and how you should set it up. Of course, you don't have to follow it you know, because we're homeschooled, but it's suggested. And sometimes when things are suggested like it, if you want to finish it within a certain amount of time, 36 weeks, then you follow it, right? So it's very detailed, but then the workbook actually is gonna take you through each of the books. So the first section is discovering design and each day is gonna have a page that looks like this. And it's all like this. It looks just like this. You're going to start having science experiments, but that doesn't happen until you get to like this book. <laughs> this book will start to include some science experiments. And that's all it is. There's a lot of reading and answering questions. You're going to read this book, answer questions. You're going to read this book, answer questions. You're going to read this book, do some science experiments and answer questions. And that's pretty much it for how applied engineering works. And that's not engineering as in like electrical and mechanical and civil engineering. It's engineering as in like how the animals work engineering wise. With that being said, I'm going to show you another one of their little like science packets because this, like I said, is seventh through ninth grade. This one is going to be seventh through eighth grade. And this is very specific to the Stargazer's Guide to the Night Sky, which is Dr. Jason Lyle, who was he is a former Answers in Genesis creation scientist. He is now with Biblical Science Institute. So this book does kind of go through the same thing, the same idea with this, where you've got the worksheets. And there really isn't any science experiments. You have to just buy a telescope and look at the, the things in the skies. That would pretty much cover K through eighth grade with master books. As with quality, you are going to find different, you know, it almost, it has the same format, but the quality 
of the books and the curriculum is going to be different because it's by different authors. Does that make sense? <laughs> you're reading an author's material and then you're answering questions on it and all the authors are different. Some of it is really, really good quality wise and some of it is like, okay, <laughs> like I'm not crazy about it. I mean, for example, I love this one. This is great quality right here. I do feel like Masterbooks is really good for independent studies. You can use it in a co-op. You might have to supplement a little bit with uh, Pinterest. Pinterest experiments, that's what we did a lot of. Okay, now let's talk about Apologia. Let's talk about the K through, and it's, they have so, so much to offer with this, this, this exploring creation, I, I, K through eighth. Now what's odd, not odd, it's not odd at all, it's just when you get to that upper middle school curriculum, there's two of them, there's the physical science and then there's, there's the general science. You do the general science first and then the physical science. And those two books, two years, is pretty much gonna cover all the different science disciplines. It's usually used for middle school, however, it can leak into ninth grade. It's especially the physical science one. There's a research paper, and actually, what's kind of cool, when I talked to Miss Sherry this summer, she mentioned to me that when you go through this book, there is actually a section built in for the upper levels. The middle school, the younger kids don't have to do it, but for high school credit, they do. There's also a research paper. The last module is a research paper, and it's really good to get the high school credit with that research paper. So the way that it's formatted is much easier to use than the third edition, and it was really encouraging to hear it from her explain it to me. But that's pretty much which with the middle school, general science, and then physical science. Both of them have journals. I have not received the physical science journal for this, but this is the textbooks right here. There is a course guide with an answer key for parents as well as some tests. And that's gonna be the same for the general science. And the format of the book is very, very traditional. I mean, it's reading, answering questions, science experiments. It's broken up, like I said, into 14 modules. The 14th module is a research paper for the exploring creations K through eighth. You could even do eighth grade with some of these. That is going to be written by Jeannie Fulbright, and she's amazing. She's awesome, people. They do say that Apologia you can use with whatever grade you want to use it with. That's true because, uh, for example, this is Exploring Creation, what it looks like now. I'm sure they're going to redo it very soon, a new edition, but this is what it looks like now, and you can actually purchase the Junior Anatomy Notebook as well as the regular one. And so the junior one is obviously going to be for the little kids through third grade, and this is going to be for the upper kids. And so you can go through each of these with all of your kids at the same time. And I do think that's also true for the God's Design curriculum itself over with Master Books. If you were to follow them in order, like a systematic order based on grade level if you wanted to do it. The first one that you would do is astronomy. Then you would do botany. Then you would do zoology, flying creatures and insects. Then you would do zoology two, which is going, and I have that one right here. And this is zoology two. This is going to be your, this is the journal. This is gonna be the marine science one. Then zoology three, which is land animals. After that, you have anatomy, and then you have nutrition, earth science, as well as physical science and chemistry. I do feel like with the earth science, nutrition, chemistry, and physical science, I feel like those books, they're more for the upper levels, but not necessarily, right? The other one, the other ones that I mentioned, like the, uh, the astronomy, botany, zoology, one, two, three, those are gonna follow the days of creation, if you look at it in a way. They try, that's how they kind of you know, when they started writing those books, that how they pre that's how they presented them. Each of these books is going to come with a textbook. For example, this one is on the cardiovascular system. It's got Bible verses in it. Each of these boxes that say, try this, that's going to be a science experiment. Usually you can do 
one of these lessons over the period of two weeks and then you will finish the book by the end of the year. At the end of each of these sections they do have a what do you remember notebooking activity project. This one has design a science fair project. The newer editions are just they're just so beautiful and where you can really tell the difference is when you get out the journals. So I actually have a reel where I compare and contrast the new journal versus the old journal but these are so much more colorful. The idea of Apologia is you read the book, you answer questions, you in the journal along with doing the activities, cutouts, you know, paste, there's some, there are some, uh, if I can find it, you don't have to do everything in the journal, but there are some crossword puzzles that you can do. It's just very, just thorough, right? You could do the whole journal, you do some of it. I just love, I love, I love this journal. And, but you've also got the science experiments too, which are mentioned in the book. What's nice with the newer journals is the science experiment actually has an activity attached to it. So cold and hot air experiment. That is pretty much the difference between those two. I feel like Apologia just has a really nice rhythm to it because you know you're going to do the two chapters, you know you're going to do journaling, you know you're going to do science experiments throughout. They're very good at giving you materials list at the beginning of the book. They actually do break it up into weeks too, by the way. They, they give you an outline of when you can do it. it. It's much more loose than what Master Books presents. Oh, what's also nice too, I forgot to mention, is in the very back they have extra pages for notes. And then they have the answers. So rip out those answers, moms. Hide them from your children. But I do feel like Apologia does flow much smoother. And for co-ops, I feel like Apologia is, it gives you enough material. Like you don't have to go searching on Pinterest to find an extra experiment because each of the books in each of the chapter, you're going to get several experiments to pick and choose from. And honestly, some of them, I've had to skip because we just don't have time. And, it, and even with a co-op, if you meet once a week, you do all the experiments at class and all the reading and the journaling at home. It works very well in a co-op setting. I guess you probably figured out which one I like more. Comment below. Okay, now I'm going to give you the answer. <laughs> I do, I will confess, I do like Apologia as a curriculum better. I do. Just because it works so nicely at the co-op. I don't have to pull from Pinterest. The lesson plans are right there. The two books that I'm using this year uh, for science is going to be the high school, middle school, physical science, as well as the zoology books. I'm actually combining zoology two and three for middle school. So there you have it. That's what I'm doing. Thank you guys for listening to this and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions. And um, until then, check out some of my other videos in regards to science curriculums for homeschoolers. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.